What I'm most passionate about as an educator and as Suffield's headmaster is focusing on the distance traveled by each student during their years at Suffield. And I've found that providing not just academic rigor and challenge, but providing it in an environment that's happy and that's uplifting and encouraging and nurturing, that's where the magic rests. And Suffield does that at a school that has a big program. 410 students, we have a curriculum and um, extracurricular offerings that are vast and uh, large from AP offerings to elective courses in history and English and the arts to traditional interscholastic sports but then crew and dance and our outdoor program and some signature offerings like our leadership program and a really innovative four-year college counseling. So it's the tangibles but it's also the intangibles. At the root of Suffield success and why the school is prospering is the philosophy. Like it's hard to find an environment that provides the top flight academic rigor with a faculty and staff that is unequivocally uh, committed to being nurturing and encouraging and supportive. I remember when I was sitting in the waiting room during my interview here, Mr. Can walked in and I really didn't know who he was. He pulled out his iPad mini and started showing me pictures of his family and his kids. Then he told me who he was and introduced himself and I was shocked and I sat back in my seat and I was like, oh my goodness, hello Mr. Can, I'm Catherine. He knows who you are, you know, because he does that genuinely. You know, whether you're here as a student, then that, you know, that translates over to when you come back as an alum. And you just know that you're always welcome here and it's always a home. Uh, it's been a great experience uh, with Charlie Can as the headmaster and his wife Hillary. Um, it's a sense of family here. As a trustee now, I have just seen the growth and development of the school. Charlie has had a great leadership and vision. We have a committed group of faculty and staff here. One of the things that became obvious um, to me as a trustee is that the school has taken on Charlie's personality, which is uh, dynamic, uh, aggressive, and ambitious. Keep in mind Henry James's words as you write your life stories. Three things in human life are important, James noted. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. And the third is to be kind. Uh, the scene in the sense at all the football games and all the basketball games and the effort that he makes driving two, three hours to, to just to come watch us play and support and support us. You know, it's definitely great, great to see that. And it's nice to get that from your headmaster to know he cares about all aspects of the school. Like the first time I met Mr. Cam, I was coming in, I was about this size too, you know, I was much smaller than I am now and he and I was telling him I was coming in as a freshman and he thought I could help out with with uh, athletics definitely, but he cared more to get to know me as a person and to see if I would be a good fit for the school and if I was a person that could really fit in this community. It's clear to everyone from the teachers to parents to the students here that his investment in Suffield is so significant that it makes you want to be more invested and it makes you want to work harder and, and be more part of what's going on here. There's a dynamism and a creativity and um, a, a, a willingness to reinvent itself uh, that's giving it this momentum and making the school the place that it is today. He just helped me kind of navigate Southfield Academy and so by the time graduation rolled around and uh, we were trying to figure out you know the logistics of everything and you know just trying to see what we were going to wear whether it be a suit and you know so used to wearing khakis and a blazer all year long and he came up to me one day and he said you know Harry do you have a suit for graduation and I didn't really know how to react because I didn't own a suit at the time. Um, and I said, no, I think I'm gonna wear you know, khakis and a blazer. He said, let me try to find you a suit. And that was, <clears throat> that was moving um, because he didn't have to do that and he went out of his way to do that. One of the great things about Suffield is it's not afraid to try new things. Uh, this is a very innovative school. It is serious, but not uh, stuffy what we like to say, unified by individuality here. Suffield is really for life. I tell this story each year to advise these at my lunch table about something that happened to me in college, and I tell them I'm not going to tell them the answer until they graduate, because I want to know how they'll handle it, not how I handled it. And we always get there, and it's crushing them that I won't tell them the answer. And then they're literally walking across Bell Hill, shaking my hand, and. Dan Tish's hand, the president of our board, and getting the degree, and they're like, so Mr. Kane, what'd you do? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And 
And they said, you know, the thing that happened in college. And I said, you're holding up the line. We have to keep moving. We'll talk later. It's graduation. 